Hello everyone, welcome to another WordPress tutorial. In today's video, we'll be looking at how to create a two column layout where one column stays within the content area and the other column breaks out of the content area and is full width, it bleeds to the edge of the screen. With the box layout, we will have the content all in the box or we have the full width, but we want just one column to be full width while the other column remains boxed. So let's see how we can get it done. So here we are on our WordPress dashboard. The first thing we want to do is ensure that you have the latest version of Elementor installed, which at the moment is 3.10.2. And we'll also be using some of the latest features, which you can find out at Elementor, Settings, Experiments. Ensure you have the Flexbox container activated. We'll also be using the custom units, but if you still not, don't feel comfortable using the Flexbox containers, don't worry. We'll show you how to do it using the old columns and sections, so stay tuned. Here we've created a new page. Let's go in now and create a new container with two inner containers, which are 50% width each. Next, on the parent container, go under Advanced and set the padding to zero to take out every space. We'll also set the pattern of each of the inner containers to zero as well. Now let's go in and drop in our content. So I'll drop in an image widget. Let's give it a, a random image. Or let me put it on the other side, as well as a text. Now let's center it, click on the column, under layout, just put the justify content to center, to center it in the content area. Now you can see at the moment both are in the boxed layout, but what we want is for the image to bleed to the edge of the screen. So let's see how we can do that. It follows a mathematical principle where we know the full width of the container is 100% and we know the boxed width is 1140 pixels by default in Elementor, which you can change if you want. So following the maths, we can say this container will be 50% of the width of the screen size and the rest of the screen from the content area to the center will be 1140 pixels divided by two so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to use the simple math. So let's go to the inner container where the content is. Go over to the width. Click on the percentage sign and change it to the pencil icon so we can define our own width. All we're going to do is say min 50%, which is what is we will have as the maximum then a comma, then we want it to be the content area, which is 1140 pixels divided by two, and we'll close the bracket. So as you can see, now this is, nothing changes. The next step is to go over to the parent container and change it from the boxed width to the full width. If you look at it again, now the width of this is boxed, but unfortunately there's a bit of gap. So we will use the justify content to push the entire content to the edge of the screen. So let's go over to the parents container under justify content, set it to end and save. Now you can see everything is done properly now. All we have to do next is add some padding to the content area to push it away from the edge of the screen. So let's go to the, the inner container, advanced. Then we can change this to, I like to work in M's. Let's give the a right padding of two. Update, you see this 
is contained while the image bleeds to the edge of the screen. On the other hand, if you want it the other way around, all you have to do is drag in, switch the containers around and go up to the parent container and set the justify content to start. And you see, it's all working well. All you have to do is add in a padding as well to the left padding. So go to this content, change this to zero and this to two. You see, it's all set. So, what if I see using the old sections and columns? It basically follows the same steps. So let's first add in our content. Next, let's zero out the, the padding from each of the columns. So go under to each column on the advanced padding, set it to zero. Same with this, advanced padding set to zero. So now you see, we are back to the same problem where they are all both boxed, but we want the image to be full width. So all we have to do is go over to my website. You can see under the method two, two column section, you can see the code there. So copy it and paste it into the section or wherever we want. So let's click on the section, advanced, custom CSS, and paste it over there. And finally, we have two more steps. Set the under layout, we have to set it to full width as well. And now all we have to just do is define the class name. So if the content is on the, the right, you just have to say, DD boxed right. And you see everything is aligned properly. If on the other hand we switch the columns together and mm -hmm. we have to just do is go back to the section, change it to boxed left, and it will be properly aligned. And yeah, that's it. So if you have any other questions, or comments, or anything you want to learn more, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you for watching.